Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of CJ Explores. Today we are about an hour and a half south of Brisbane and we're hiking up a mountain called Mount Cordeaux. Out. We are just five minutes into this walk and already we have this beautiful view of Lake Mugra in the distance. We drove up most of the mountain already, so the actual Mount Cordoy which you get to hike up is kind of just like the top part, which is nice because you already get rewarded with the views very early on. Mount Cordeaux is in the Main Range National Park here in Queensland and that is actually part of the bigger Great Dividing Range which stretches up most of the east coast of Australia. It's very, very big. <laughs> He was just hanging, he couldn't get to the tree. So I guess he would have just hung there until he died. But I got him on a little twig and we put him on the ground. So we've got some really nice temperatures at the moment. We're currently in April, so it's autumn here. Uh, in Queensland and in this part of the forest the first section it's very ferny um, quite wet it's like a, a very damp little forest um, but I think it changes as you get up higher so that was starting to incline now it's been pretty easy so far but I think we are now starting to head up to the summit twice before actually to Mount Cordo, um, a few years ago now but when we come we always see the signs of Mount Mitchell and that's the other side of the road and we always say ah then that's like a good hike we'll go and do that one next time but we always forget so this is a reminder to us to go and hike Mount Mitchell So now we're coming up to a big opening. Woo! Very cool! Not quite at the summit top yet, but this area is really being clear. We can see the road down here where we drove up. So it's Mount Mitchell over here, and then the rest of the. Is that the Great Dividing Range? I think it's we've got Lake Mugara over here, and lots of mountains. Very beautiful. We made it at the top and no one else is here. It's midday on a Sunday. We've seen quite a few people on the actual trail but no one here right now on the summit. ourselves up the best little picnic spot we've had in a very very long time we are literally on the edge of the summit but safely with our smoothies and our snacks and we've took our boots off just having a chill and we have the best view in the house 
Unfortunately, we have got a little bit of cloud cover. It's kind of, the sun's trying to peek through, but when we were driving up here, we noticed Mount Cordo has a little cap of cloud on top. Uh, and it's, sun. oh, it's decided actually to nice. leave. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we can see from here, you can see all the way out to the Gold Coast hinterlands, and you can see Brisbane, the city skyline, and then you can see the uh, plateau of the Great Dividing Range behind Mount Cordo. Um, there is a continuation of this hike which goes further around the peak. So right behind us is the peak of Mount Cordo, uh, and there is a little hiking track called Bald Rock. It's another 2.8 k's, um, and it's pretty much just a little uh, opening which you can come out onto, and it's just further along here. Uh, not up the top, but just further around this rock. We've been there before, it's pretty cool, we might do it today. We had a lovely stop up here. I think we've been up here for about one hour. Could stay longer, but I guess time to go back down but is it do we have to leave we don't we ran out of food so we probably should go down soon but it is so nice here perfect temperature in that sun perfect view perfect company Okay, so that was obviously a fantastic spot to sit and have a picnic. We did notice though that it is an easterly facing uh, lookout. So if you wanted to get up here for sunrise, which I think a lot of people did today, because we passed a lot of people who were coming down uh, as we came up, um, I think it would be a really good spot to, to get to for sunrise, just because it comes over the mountains, um, which make up the Gold Coast hinterlands. So yeah, if anyone does do it, tag us in it, we'd love to see. So Mount Cordo is considered a class four hiking track. Um, you do need a reasonable level of fitness because it is a hike. Um, it's 6.8K return. However, it's not one of the hardest hikes we've done in terms of it's not like sheer drop, you're not rock scrambling. Um, most of it is on a very clear path and then there's just a few steps towards the end. Take it easy, it's pretty good. Um, there's definitely much harder ones around. I think for class four, um, it's really nice. We've seen families up here, so it is uh, suitable for kids as long as you keep an eye on them, especially at the top. But otherwise, really recommend it. nearly at the bottom of the Mount Kodo track so I think this is where we'll sign off for today's vlog please leave some recommendations below uh, for some different hikes around this area we'd love to go and check them out otherwise we'll see you guys next week somewhere else in southeast Queensland bye bye